A beautiful September morning in Oxford, Mississippi. Folks got an early start in the Grove ahead of this one between number 23 Cal and Ole Miss. The Rebels hosting a Pac-12 team for the first time in history. You already know what time it is. It's game time, baby. Time to show up. Hey, it's right there in front of you. All you got to do is go take it. Early in the contest, it looked as though the game would become an offensive slugfest, with California taking the first shot. So Mike McIntyre's defense trying to make a stand here. Garber's play action, lobs it to the end zone, wide open. Trayvon Clark, touchdown Bears. With California in the lead, Ole Miss would lean on their own California kid to take a counter shot. On the slant, there's Elijah Moore with a catch. And a first down for Ole Miss. And quickly, Ole Miss out to midfield. Another first down for the Rebels. Empty backfield. Corral. Complete again to the 35-yard line. That catch by Sanders. Oh, yeah, 13. He's a California native, too. This is a special game for him as he takes off for the first down and more. Down to the 11-yard line. Now Ole Miss gets four cracks at it. Corral on the keeper, and he just walks in. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Hey, let's go! Hey, let's go! Hey, let's go. Hey, get ready! Despite the early scores, the first half quickly turned into a defensive battle. On second down, some pressure coming, and Garbers is thrown down for a big loss. Oh, that land shark defense. This is Corral going ahead, and he'll get a handful back. So it's a third down and long for Ole Miss. Second down and nine. Garbers over the middle, and it's intercepted. DeAndre Prince brings it back to the 34-yard line. True freshman and a rising star in Mike McIntyre's defense. So we go in at the half with a score 14-13 Cal. Stout defensive play would only allow for a slim one-point lead for Cal at the break. The number 23-ranked Golden Bears would stake their claim for a victory with a pair of quick-striking drives. Garbers, standing tall, takes a bump, still looking deep down the middle. Going for Remigio, and he makes the catch! Throwing to the end zone, back shoulder! That's got to be a touchdown. And that's a touchdown for Cal. Play action, pass, seam route down the middle, caught there by Tungus, and he breaks clear. He could take it to the house. He's a 15, 10, 5, and in the end zone for the TD. Just a quick hitter down the left seam to the tight end, and there's a score for Cal and their fans in the far corner. Feeling good now as the Bears go up 27-13 with 9.03 to play. Nobody's giving you anything. Who's going to fight? Who's going to fight? Deep into the fourth, and despite the quick strikes and miscues, the Rebels knew they were still in the fight. What they didn't know was they would have to do it without their starting quarterback. Here's a pass, diving effort, incomplete to Tylen Knight on the crossing route at the 50 on second and 10 for the 38. And Matt Corral is shaking up. Remember Richard reported earlier that he was in pain, and now Matt's having trouble. He slams his fists against the turf and comes up slowly. They're going to go out and check on him. Well, John Rice Plumley is going to come in. We'll see for how long. Let's go. John Rice Plumley, true freshman, his first career snap, and he's going to run it. The Hattiesburg, Mississippi native, busting loose. Do you, team? All right, go. Run, run, run. run. Oh, he wants it. Come on. Inside the 20, and he's down inside the 15 yard line. J.R.P. On his first college play, rips off a 47-yard run. Wonderful play call. Handoff to Ely, left tackle, he's to the five, he's in the end zone, just like that. Bang, bang, and the Rebels have cut it to 28 to 19. Just like that, the Rebels had new life. Now the defense just needed to get the ball back. So here it is, third and very short. Oh, miss! They made the stop. Oh, he ain't get it. He ain't get it. He ain't get it. Let's go. It's 
what time to win the game. Ole Miss in a tough spot here. They've got the clock working against them. They have no timeouts and a true freshman at quarterback in John Rice Plumley. Quick snap to Plumley. Runs to his right. He's looking downfield. Zips it and caught at the 37 for another first down. And it's Elijah Moore on the out route. John Rice Plumley, the backup quarterback, trying to be the hero. Throwing it deep. Downfield. Has a man and is caught. Demarcus Gregory going up over the defender Cameron Bynum and hauls it in first down and goal. Bears trying to hold on. Got to hurry up. 18 seconds. There's the snap. Plumley runs to his left. Fires to the end zone. He's got his man. They're going to mark him shy of the goal line. And the clock runs with 10 seconds. It's caught by Elijah Moore. They'll spot it quickly at the goal line with three seconds. Rebels got to get in there. The snap and the sneak by Plumley, and I don't think he got it, and the game is going to end right there. Clocks go to zero. Elijah Moore is right on the goal line. They said he didn't break the play. Plumley on the field was the runner was short of the line to gain. The game is over. Wow. But y'all can't stop it. And you can score a touchdown. Coach, if we win again, you can stop it before the score. Well, why didn't they? The day the play you would like to review and you didn't have time to stop would be the play with Elijah Moore catching the ball right on the goal line. They marked it on the one foot line. But that's the play you would have liked to review, but uh, obviously you don't you couldn't stop that if it's fourth down and the clock running out on you. Great effort at the end for Ole Miss to try to pull it out of the fire. But Cal's gonna walk out of here 4-0. Here's the truth. We didn't make the plays we needed to make to win this game. That's the truth. Now, give Cal credit. Give Cal credit. They, they won the game. They made the plays to, make, to, to win the game. We did. If that's a top 25 football team, then we're damn well on our way. I can tell you that. Hey, we got a bunch of young guys that are working and getting better, but the attention to detail has to be there. The little things. The, to win, to be the top 25 football team, you got to have the little things and the attention to detail. And we got to clean that up. All the things from going to class, from cleaning up the locker room, to discipline, little things, touching the line, finishing, all the little things that it takes to have the culture of the program to win these games. Hey, hey, it's us. <coughs> it's us. We're all we got, but we're all we need. Hey, don't let the noise come in here. No finger pointing. Hey, just bring it in tight, all right? And love on each other. That's all we can do is stick together. Uh, it was a tough loss, so we trying to, we just trying to pick each other up right now. We're just trying to you know, stay focused because we got a big team coming next week or going next week, so we're just trying to stay focused. The number one thing is they kept fighting, they kept fighting, they kept fighting, and uh, I was uh, really bad. And they kept being physical the whole game, um, you know, and. Um, so that, I thought that was uh, really impressive by them to do that, it really was. The first thought was what, what was play call we were going to run, which was going to be a draw, and so John, John Rice is a pretty good runner. And then after he got in there, you know, we scored in a couple plays. Yeah, I, I just I think it's a credit. We, we had talked with him several times about being prepared for his opportunity. His opportunity uh, came and he made the best of it. Uh, you know, again, made a play with his legs and seven for seven on the last drive. I thought he. Uh, ignited the sideline and, and the stadium. You know, the refs call what they see. That's no shame to them, so we just all next to them. 